Isaiah Harper get a chance to return the football, but that doesn't happen very often against Joey Sly. And once again, he kicks it through the end zone. That's 23 out of 24 kickoffs this year that have been touchbacks. So far this season, making his first career start. And he wants to throw on first down. It's a completed pass across the 35 up to the 42-yard line. He has bumped out of bounds after a gain of 17. Foster says he's as good as any guy he's coached. Officially no gain. Williams to throw. Pass is caught. Stretching out near the marker and to the 49-yard line of Virginia Tech, but it's going to be about a yard shy. They'll go with four wide. Handoff, try the right side, and it's a stone wall in there. Again, it's 49, Edmonds leading the way. Third down and seven. Blitz coming for ODU. Pass is caught, first down and more. 30-yard line and out of bounds at the 29. Mate at Woodrow Wilson in D.C. makes a catch. Long developing play that time to get Savoy across the field there in front of the quarterback's eyes. Time but delivering a strike. Handoff inside. Trayvon McMillan. And he'll take it down near the 20 yard line. That's going to be a gain of 10 and it's another hokey first down. 16 red zone trips. They're in the zone right now. Quick snap. Pass is caught. That's Phillips again to the top four wide receivers on third and goal from just outside the 10 here's Jackson to the end zone incomplete wave Jackson at the quarterback position 27 yard attempt for Sly and the kick is no good he was three for three last week in Greenville against East Carolina but pushes this one to the right defensive backs staring their receivers in the face trying to get to the corner and back to the 20-yard line, but way short of the first down. Third and a short two. Jackson looks across the middle. Pass is caught. Inside the 20, it's Phillips. That may have been a touchdown-saving tackle. He gets down to the 11-yard line. The stop, and if he doesn't make this tackle from behind, this might go to the house. It certainly was a good tackle to prevent that, but I love what they did. They motioned their burden 12 here. Jackson to pass. Blitz coming. Hit as he throws. End zone incomplete. Contact, no call. High from 32 yards out. And the kick this time is good. One, third down and three from the 32. Blitz coming. Williams spins away from it. Sets his feet, throws. Pass caught first down. Out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Boy, made a nice adjustment there. Feels the rush coming here from his backside and turns away. Keeps the play alive and to go with five wide, three to the top. Williams on the slant, incomplete. McMillan gets through the, the first wave and takes it out to the 21 yard line. That's a gain of 12 and a first down him Stephen Peoples in here he's a little bit longer not the shifty guy but he's a guy that he was just running away from ECU defenders on that play gets a chance for a third down carry and it's second effort that's going to get the first down to the 32 yard line ODU had the play snuffed out that side of a minute to play in a quickly played first quarter here third down and five for Virginia Tech Jackson to throw again incomplete Tech with an early 3-0 lead. Williams with the option pitch. And across the 35-yard line to the 36, and that looks to be a first down. For a first start, but so far for Stephen Williams, doing a fine job. And I think that game was homecoming. You're never supposed to lose on homecoming, right? <laughs> Close to the marker is Cox. It's going to depend on the spot here in the first half. Five in the pattern for the Monarchs. Blitz coming. Williams throws right into the teeth of it, and it's incomplete. Yeah, they talk about him battling injuries, but great feet at that tackle position. He's a fine player. Of course, his dad was a super player. Cam Phillips with a reception and takes it out to midfield.
fans right now looking for something to cheer about. Hokie's going to try to do that on this drive. Jackson to throw again. Right down the seam. Pass is caught to the 32-yard line of Old Dominion. Murphy with another catch. Almost a different attitude for Virginia Tech Erie's. Here comes the jet sweep. First time we've seen that today. And Savoy was probably one step away from taking that to the house. Inside the red zone. Been in the red zone already twice in this game, but only three points to show for it. Another slant, and the pass is intercepted. Pass is picked off. The Monarchs come up with the pick. Sean Carter, the safety. Now the former walk-on, Sean Carter, at that safety position, and you could see Jackson. He knew it as soon as he let go of the football. Jackson, or Carter, was positioned perfectly. In this game. Got to be careful here. This is what these fans want. Here comes a blitz. Williams to throw. And this one is up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Back at the 41-yard line. So Virginia Tech creates the turnover. You can see Williams that time really just threw the football up. I said before the play, they have to be careful in that situation. Third and ten, the crowd behind him. And Diablo, a former wide receiver, moved over to defensive back. And Jackson, all kinds of time. He's got Phillips open in the end zone. Incomplete. Flag is down. Offset off formation here on first down. Play action for Jackson. Setting up the screen to the short side for Peoples. 10-5. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. This play design. Jackson rolls to his right, runs to his left. Watch the convoy he had out in front of him here. Just one defender on the ground, and you can see. Emmanuel Belmar, who's coming at the right defensive end spot for Trayvon Hill. Williams going to tuck it, going to run it. 30. And he's got the first down and slides down at the 36-yard line. Williams had 20 yards last week rushing on seven carries, and he had a real big carry to set up what could have been their first touchdown. And here comes the blitz again. Williams stands in and throws right down the seam incomplete. 13th in the country right now. Swinging it to the wide side. Across the 30 to the 30. Two yard line. Tech three is seven on third down. Fake it to Peoples. Phillips. First down and more. Still on his feet. Out beyond midfield to the 45. It's here. Easy throw. Another offensive lineman out front making some blocks. Phillips making people miss. And Six catches now. Here's Peoples bouncing it to the outside across the 20. He's got the first down and he's down to the 15 yard line. Left side of your screen. Here's the kick out. Just kind of pushes, stay with them. Because of that block right there, that allowed Peoples to pick up some big yardage there and at least get this team in field goal range. 45 seconds. Touchdown. So Stephen Peoples with a touchdown run. The shotgun formation is handed to Peoples at 220 pounds, just 5'9". He's like a fullback, takes it up inside and fights his way in for another score. The 30-yard line, four wide receivers. Jackson, play action. Right down the seam and open for a first down. Chris Cunningham dragging tacklers all the way down to the Monarch 43. Yarder, that was probably the biggest play of that football game for him and using the tight end very effectively there. Jackson with all kinds of time going to send this one deep all the way to the goal line. Caught! Deflected! Touchdown! Peoples! It's back that time and you can see Jackson, he was just going to set and throw this as far as he possibly could and whatever happens going to happen and Get a tip, oh. right spot at the right time. It came right off the chest of Cam Phillips, right into the hands of Peoples. Almost like a Hail Mary. <laughs> wow. Career started quarterback this afternoon for Old Dominion here against Virginia Tech. 
Look in pattern incomplete over the next 15 years. Jackson under duress got it out to Peoples across midfield and to the 46 yard line of ODU and he improvises for a gain of 14. Touchdowns from the 46 of Old Dominion ready to throw it again sends it to the wide side pass is caught and another big gain a gain of about well, 13 yards for Virginia Tech third in the preseason poll in Conference USA. Down to the 16 yard line as the march continues. Dalton Keene, Rambo on third down conversions today. Here's a third and 10 attempt coming up from inside the red zone. Jackson going to keep it inside the 10 down to the five yard line. It's going to be first and goal Virginia Tech Hokies. Josh Jackson looks to throw right over the middle a diving attempt and a touchdown for Virginia Tech. C.J. Carroll made a diving catch at the back of the end zone for another Virginia Tech touchdown. Up the running back. Now you get the opportunity to make a few blocks to catch the football down in the end zone. He's going to be brought down after a gain of a yard, and Old Dominion's going to have to kick the ball away. Doesn't look like an offensive lineman now, but he coaches like one. So five minutes to go here in the third quarter, and Peoples continues to play well. That's a gain of 12 and a first down at the Old Dominion 49. Cam Chancellor, Tyrod Taylor, Brian Randall, incomplete at the 38-yard line. A really good job for that defense. Third and seven for Old Dominion. What man wins. So, so slippery back there. Was able to get back to the 15 yard line, but he's going to be brought down shy of the marker, and Old Dominion's going to have to punt again. Jackson back to pass. McLeese has got room to rumble. He's going to be driven out of bounds once he gets down to the 22-yard line of Old Dominion. Start, he said, I, we started it this winter. We're 1-0. and Started in the winter. McLeese to the goal line. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Timmy to touch the football and score, and you mentioned to it, nobody carries the ball more than 18 times in a ball game. Be as healthy as possible going into There's a lot of mutual respect. Incomplete. He is big, he is physical, he is tough to bring down. As you can see, takes it to the 28 yard line, and that's a gain of 12 yards and a Virginia Tech first down. Bush looking for his second completion of the year. He's going to tuck this one and keep it. And he stretches out to the 49 yard line, just a yard shy of the first down. Third's time of possession. Williams throws incomplete and a late flag comes in Williams back to throw again what put that ball right on the money for a first down at the 49 yard line and a late flag comes in Hokie showing blitz here they come Williams giving ground Direct in traffic and throwing into a crowd. Incomplete at the 28-yard line in the stadium. They sold their complete allotment of 3,500 tickets for this game. First of a long stretch of games between these two teams. Six. Consistently like that. Here's Bush. Across the middle. He's got the first down out to the 35-yard line. A turnover, Stevie Williams threw an interception. Virginia Tech scored a quick touchdown to make it 10-0. He added another touchdown. Here goes Fox down to the 22-yard line, 10th play of the drive. Big holes on the inside. You can see the shiftiness of Fox.